Not particularly. I'm open. I'm open. Okay. Yeah. How old are you? Fun fact oh, about it, me. It has to be red. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to The Button, a speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. This is The Button. Hi. What's your name? I'm Tyler. How are you? What's your name? My name's Katie. Hi, Katie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, initial reactions. Are you attracted to each other? Mm, not quite yet. <laughs> Because oh, I just met you like 30 seconds Oh, you don't ago. golf looks? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. That's nice. Lie. That's cap. That's crazy. That's cap. Straight up. He just doesn't think she's that attractive. That's it. I really like your like freckles on your face. Oh, thanks. Yeah, Thank I'm, you. I'm into freckles. Uh, I like your eyes. Thanks. Yeah. Tyler oh. does improv theater. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Every Wednesday night. Can you do some improv? Right, right now? Yeah, yeah let's, let's do it. it. Okay, that's like literally one of the basic things of improv is that like you should be able to do it. Don't act like... It's like you can't actually come up with a routine, like be funny on the spot. Improv always cringe, but you can always just do it, okay? Together, I was okay. theater. We're going to go and to the park today. Yes, and we're probably going to swing on the swings, right? Yes, and swing and then fall off <laughs> because I'm very clumsy. And then we're going to do some hard drugs, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, who doesn't want hard drugs, am I right? I mean, go for it. I'm so sorry. By the way, improv, embarrassing to admit. Uh, Will is a big improv boy. He went to all the schools and whatever. I've also done UCB, only the first course. But one thing I learned from improv is literally that, like, it's basically the same concept of, like, when you're when you're really clicking with someone for the first time ever, when you're just, like, flirting or whatever, it's, it's basically the same. But, yes, improv is incredibly cringe. Stop in the combo thinking improv is cringe. It's so cringe. Oh, my God. Yes. It's insanely cringe. So nice, yeah. and I will come to your improv. Yeah, do it. Okay. You should totally do it. I totally will. Yeah. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you, yeah. too. Thank you. Tyler's sweet. You missed out. <laughs> he is sweet. Hello. Hi. Hi, what's your name? My name's Katie. What's Katie. your name? Khalif. Khalif? Good to meet you. Is it bright in here, Khalif? Uh, no, I feel like, listen, uh, it's part of the outfit, like the, uh, glasses oh. kind of match the shirt, which, ma like, contrasts with the outer shirt, and it's like a Ooh. fire vibe. so you're stylish. A little bit. Yeah, it all goes together. I model on the side for a little bit. So Ooh. And fashion, stuff like that. I like it. You might have to teach me, because I'm not what? that good at fashion. I mean, like, I can feel it. Have you ever dated a model before? I've never dated a model before. Do you only go for models? Um, not particularly. I'm, I'm open. I'm open. Okay. How old are you? Oh, it, it has to be red. Oh. <laughs> Dude, this, oh no. I mean, this is painful to, oh Jesus, it's so cringe. Model for Gap, stop. What is he model? Like, is he an e-commerce guy or something? Like, what's he fucking talking about here? He models? Oh, wow. Listen, I, I don't, no, 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 listen. I don't only go for models. Why'd you press it right after that? He, he literally, he, listen, he's giving, I, I model for a boutique firm and I actually had to pay them to get my headshots and everything else. And to, I had to pay them for Polaroids. That's the energy he's giving right now. Okay. And it's not even that it's like, it's not because like, oh, he's unattractive or whatever. That's not what I'm saying. But the reason why I'm saying that is because like, he's, uh, he's got like, He's giving off that energy. He's like carrying himself as someone who is like a little insecure. You know what I mean? He models for Uniqlo, really? Because I was thinking, I was thinking like, okay, I can feel it. You're not a model. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, it was right. nice to meet you. It was fantastic. <laughs> Did he explain why? Oh, why'd you reject me? I feel like if it was not a dating show, yeah. I would want to talk to you for like yeah, a while. That's how I felt with, with the other guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have like 10 minutes. Yeah. No, I got you, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye. It was good to meet you. Hello. 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 What's your name? 
Uh, my name's Sierra. Sierra, I'm Khalif. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. I have an interesting fact about Sierra. Oh. Sierra goes through two pairs of socks a day. I'm kind of a nervous person and I get kind of sweaty. Yeah, like Just only in the feet though. Halfway through the day, it's like new pair. Okay. My hands get sweaty like crazy. Mm. And like my face gets sweaty, but like not the feet. But, um, Leon. What kind of person do you usually look for? I like people who are very models. <laughs> I like people who are models like me. Have I told you that I'm a model, by the way? Just want to let you know. Very kind of confident in who they are. It, it feels like you kind of, you're feeling yourself. So I like that. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Feels are you each other's type? Um, I have a lot of types. My type is people that look like my celebrity crushes. Oh, that's a red flag, bro. What the fuck? That's that that is definite. Oh my god. What? Bro, she said that so she didn't even hide it. She just said that in the most unhinged way possible. Like my type is my celebrity crushes. Danis Robert Pattison girly. <laughs> she has to be memeing. At the moment, who's your celebrity crush? Like Alex Wolf. Does he look like Alex Wolf? Who the fuck is Alex Wolf? Is she memeing? What? What the fuck is Alex Wolf? What has he been in? What? Naked Brothers Band, dude. Why are you... What the fuck is Naked Brothers Band? Like, what? What the hell is that? Why do you guys know what that is? No, but yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. There's probably another celebrity that you look like. Okay. I just can't think of it right now. That's okay. Can you ask why? Why? Um, oh, oh. Why? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. that was awkward. You're fantastic, but I wasn't like really feeling it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was no. nice to meet you. It was great to meet you. <laughs> this is one of the few instances where I'm like, my man's got no business being like this. I don't know. He's just, this is the first time. Usually some, I feel like, okay. Sometimes I feel that way about the girlies on the show and I keep it to myself because I don't want people to get mad at me. But right now, this is one of the moments where I'm like, okay, feeling yourself is fine. But like, you know, maybe, maybe chill. Like give us some time. On Black History Month, listen, it does not matter. You cannot colonize the button, okay? You know me. I don't like it when people hog the button, okay? There's no reverse gentrification of the button in this situation. Even though she was giving off red flags. You're fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Sierra. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Izzy. Izzy, Khalif. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. So what do you do for work? I am in tech. Wait, what? What do you do? I sell- He did not say he's a model this time. What the fuck? Cars for a living. Oh, okay. Isabel has four cats. Four cats. One of them isn't mine. It's okay. my roommate's, but yeah. That red flag. Sorry. That's literally- Dude, red flags. Oh my God. Come on, cat lovers. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Cat lovers, come on. Admit that that's a red flag. Four is a red flag. One, one cat, I would never. I, like, as much as a, as much as a uh, you know, an enemy to the cats as I am, like, you know, I, I'll, I'll allow it. Four, dude? I mean, fucking four dogs is a red flag, dude. What the hell? And I love dogs. I was given a cat. Like, I'm sorry. I, I, I have two cats at home. Oh, you should have yeah. said that before you, it lit up. I knew it. I, dude, oh my God. Cat lovers are so fucking, they're such freaks, dude. She literally, she got upset that she buzzed before he revealed that he has two cats. That's insane to me, okay? Dude.
the, the cat lovers make having a cat their entire personality. There you go. That's the fucking proof. Okay. That's literally the proof. That's the proof. She's now upset because he didn't react fast enough to be like, I'm a cat lover too. I have two cats. They would have five cats. Cat heaven. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, no, that's not cat heaven. Okay. I've been to the house where the roomies live. It's not cat heaven. Okay. The, the, those, those cats are going to be doing pissing wars everywhere. If you want... If you want a home that is just literally fucking one thick layer of cat piss on everything from the sofa down to the kitchen counter, that's what you're going to get. Five cats in one house? Oh, God, it's a nightmare. It's going to be so stinky, dude. Holy fuck. Six cats is like one and a half dogs? You are delusional. Dogs, when trained, shit and piss outside. Okay? Okay. Cats, yeah, use the litter box. Not when there's three fucking cats in the house. They're pissing on each other, man. No, you are cat. Here's why cat lovers are delusional. Because they know I'm right and they refuse to admit it. Okay? They know I'm right. They know I'm right. You put fucking two extra cats in a room where four cats already exist from two different owners. You know they're, everything is piss. They will piss on top of you. They will fight nonstop. No shot. You wouldn't have rejected him if you knew he had two cats? No, I would wanted to know more about the cats. <laughs> Before you rejected him. There you go. I, I like that. I like that play. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, she's like, I don't give a fuck about you, but let me, let me know more about your cats. Oh, God. Classic. Typical cat lover, dude. Just another toxio, toxoplasmosis recipient. Victim. Hi. Hello. What's your name? My name's Izzy. What's your name? Izzy. Brendan. Dude, when people, when I mention this stuff, Hassan's spring roll craving, very specific. I don't, I don't even think I've ever felt a craving for spring roll. Uh, my friend toilet trained her cat, right? This is something I've heard a lot. And honestly, that shit would freak me out. I think like litter boxes are one thing, but if you fucking walk into the bathroom and the cat's pissing, nah, you, you run out of there, dude. There's no shot. That's a devil. That's not a cat. That's the devil doing its work, okay? That's so weird, bro. Cat looks up at you while pissing. He's like, yo, close the door, dog. Sorry, I walk out. Never look back ever again. Dude, come on. Come on. Come on. But you would praise a dog if it did the same? No, man. No, I wouldn't. First of all... It would be probably way more difficult to teach a dog to fucking piss in the toilet. But no, I wouldn't. It would be weird. It would also be weird. You're so dumb. No, you just think like dog lovers are just as unhinged as cat lovers. No. If I walked into a house and some fucking dog was taking a piss in the bathroom, I'd be like, what the fuck is going on here? I'm running out of this house. No, this is typical cat lover behavior. Cat lovers literally think dog lovers are just as unhinged as they are. <laughs> what the fuck? That's crazy, man. I love how Ben Shapiro said you were afraid of your audience when you, say go when you stay going after these cat stands like this. Yeah, I know. You literally have to pick up dog shit when you walk it. Oh, my God. Moldovan Mama Liga chiming in on a conversation that's not related to Russia invading Ukraine. That's crazy. Nice to have you back, Moldovan Mama Liga. <laughs> rare. Very rare. Incredibly rare Moldovan Mama Liga moment. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you Do too. Do you have a tattoo? Yeah. 
Are you Italian? I am Italian. I like your nose. Button. Hit the button. Hit the button immediately. No, 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 no. Are you Italian? Yeah. Imagine not being embarrassed to admit that. Button now. I was about to say, yeah, you too. I have two. I got full. Do you have any more piercings? And I've had my nipples pierced before, but I just took them out like two days ago. Why? <laughs> because, so the thing with nipple piercings is they just like don't ever heal. And so they're just uh, kind of, they get crusty and pee. gross and oh, it just, crusty? yeah, like, like crusty. And so I was like, this is like just too <laughs> gross for me. Just Fun like, fact about Brendan, his hands are always clammy and sweaty. Oh! His hands. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, ew, gross. Yeah, I, don't mind. I don't mind. It's just, I don't know. Text Bro, this is damage, dude. This is like, this is violence, dude. I know, like, not to get all liberal, but words are violence sometimes. This is it. I'm, I'm recognizing it. It's like the nipple crust is already, like, insanely fucked up. Like, why does she bring that up ever? Just lie. I, as, as someone who has sucked on uh, nipples that were peers before, I never wanted to know that. I never knew that that was a thing. And now I'm going to forever think about that. That is, this is like destroyed my relationship with like pierced nipples. Um, so thank you. And secondly, why, why did the button bring up the crusty fucking clammy hands, dude? That shit sucks. You would stop if you just stop attacking cat owners that left with adore you. Yeah, I don't care. Here's the thing for me, oh, but for I sure. don't really mind. My feet get clean. I knew it was coming. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. It was nice to meet you, though. Hi. Is it it's Italians very, or cats? Attracted. I'm sorry. That's okay. Thank what you. What the fuck? Sure. He said I'm physically not attracted to you. I'm sorry. God damn. Hello. He just chilling. What about you? I'm Brendan. Brendan, Anna. Nice to meet you. I like your overalls. Thank you. My roommate told me not to wear this, but really, yeah. And you defied your roommate. Yeah, they said sex cells, and I said pockets. <laughs> so, what do you do? Yeah, uh, I work for Pierce County Parks and Recreation as a maintenance. Parks worker. and Rec. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fun fact about Anna: she always puts her friends before you. Well, I mean, as a good friend should. Okay. That's not a red flag for you? <laughs> no. I think Asana did not need to know that you've been sucking on titties with nipple piercings. I mean, dude, I'm 31 years old. You know what I mean? At a certain point, if you've been sexually active in the United States of America, you're going to accidentally suck on a fucking pierced titty, you know? It's going to happen. Okay? <laughs> Like, oops, fell on a titty, had a nipple on it. You know, I mean, had a, had a nipple on it, had a piercing on it. Anything that's like a good thing. Okay. Like, yeah. Something happening here? Maybe. Maybe Perhaps so. we have matching nose rings. We do. Yeah. That's true. I could see it. Bro, this is like so Seattle. What are the odds? Everybody has, everybody has matching nose rings, dude. What the fuck? Oh, man. We just. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I guess it's like very normal. Two together. <laughs> Thank you. That's a future thinking button. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! Sorry. Okay. Why? She fucking hit that while they were laughing. Damage. There's actually, there's someone else. In Seattle, you can get beat by a cop with a nose ring. <laughs> they, them, cop. With the blue hair and, and engages. Out there that I think you would really vibe with. Okay. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Cool. It was nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Oh my God. Hello. Oh my God. Hi. I literally was just eating a granola bar. <laughs> Why should someone date you? I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a really hard question. What are your hobbies? Like, what is um, if you describe yourself in like three? I'm an like, English major in school, so I'm always. Like, oh, you're still in school. Writing something. Yeah. What year? I'm a senior. Are you? Okay. You graduated or? I did graduate. Oh, yeah. what was your major? <laughs> Art. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, obviously. Yeah. Dude. It could have been something else. I'm not. It could have been. No, I, I don't regret my major. Like mm, the art I'm, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It was bound to happen. All right. I'll, I'll, leave, I'll, leave, I'll leave. No, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Jasper. Jasper, nice to meet you. Oh, that's a cool name. What's your name? Anna. Ooh, tattoos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't have any, but I really want one. Really? Yep. Okay. Can't decide. What would you get? This is really random. Okay. A butterfly eating a cheeseburger. I love it. Let's go after this. Heck yeah. 
Heck yeah. 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 What the <laughs> fuck? Second date, pay for your first tattoo. Do you want to see a magic trick? Yes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yo! Hey, yo, what? That's some second date activity. Why'd you do that? Don't do that. Dude! <laughs> what the fuck? Someone said green flag for me? What? You missed it. Here, I'll show you. Can I see a magic trick? Yes. Wait, so yeah, what happened to your teeth? Oh, I knocked them out. It was a pool incident. I was just like, I was bending down and somebody hit the cue ball too hard and popped me right in my face, knocked me clean out, so. When you said pool, I thought you meant like swimming pool. I can't swim. Actually. Oh, okay. I can do the warm if you want. I can do the warm too. Wait, actually? Yeah, I think so. I haven't. Listen, get in here. I have a friend out there. Her name is Jade. She's awesome. We can both do the worm. Okay. We're looking for other wormers. Yeah. And we're gonna start a troop. We're gonna collectively Okay, she's got hella charisma. Like, I gotta hand it to her. She is very charismatic. She's running the show. Okay? No, no, no. She is. She's very charismatic. You guys don't understand. She's, she's super confident and great. Like, the teeth thing is, like, weird, yes, but... Wait, are we gonna do it do where like worm. like I'm grabbing like your feet? No, and then, no one's oh, grabbing oh, anything. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, that would be cool though. Yeah, like a if it was like, like a human centipede yeah, type yeah, worm. Like, yeah, that's what I was thinking. We would. Is this a sex thing? No, God, don't be gross. What in the world? Are you into each other? Do you see each other on a second date? I am. Yeah, I can, I can see that. We can practice our worm. Why are you into her? I think that we're just vibing. You know, yeah. since the second that I walked in, it was you know it was the hello. Hello. It was the eye contact. Mm. That's a big part of it too. That is true. Yeah. You two would be a really cute couple. I can see Damn. this. Oh my What's gosh. <laughs> if I could blush, I would. <laughs> I'm gonna light up red one last time. If you do not press me, that means you two agree to go on a second date. Oh, She's gonna hit it. And you win the button. I need to ask one question. Mm -hmm. Are you into feet? It, no. Why? Okay, Are okay. you? No, I'm not. I, okay. I, 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 no! I, I, Yo, bro, chill, dude. Yo, why are feet people like this, dog? Why? Yo, feet people are so weird. They just can't hold it in, dude. No, no one asks that question if they're not into feet, dude. I, just, I don't like feet. You I don't made, like feet? Yeah, not, not a big fan of them. I think he's just saying he won't rub your feet. Okay. There we go. All right, I'm gonna light up one more time. Damn, you got some nice eyes. Thank you. Want to go on a second date? Yes. Hell yeah. Burger worm. Burger worm. Burger worm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. Yeah. You won the bike. Oh, wait, we won? You get to go on a Did second win, date? Win? You oh, found yeah. love. Now go get married and make babies. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> Are there any type of philosophy? One woman takes over the button? Oh, God. Whoa, this is spicy. I legitimately do to make sure I'm not with a feet weirdo, but I get your sentiment. Listen, you can be a feet weirdo if you want, okay? I'm not going to fucking sit here and be like, you know, don't be a foot weirdo. It's, it's weird to me, but like, just hold it in, bro. There's something weird about foot people that like, they basically... They basically cucked themselves because it was like the type of thing that you just like kind of showed for no reason, like without ever thinking that it was like sexualized, right? And then feet people just like could not keep their fucking mouth shut. They were like, no, we actually love feet. Like, you know, there was this like don't kink shame era. So feet people got like real confident about their fucking kink and started openly stating it. So now, like, you fucked yourself over because, like, every OnlyFans model and shit just hides, they censor their feet. They paywall it. And you could have just, you know, avoided it as long as you just, you know, didn't fucking talk about how much you love feet. But they can't. They can't. They're like cat lovers. You know what I mean? It's just like, dude, holy shit. Click on MHUD link is extremely important. What is it?
Kendra Lust used to go to my gym and her husband is a Detroit cop with alopecia. He looks like Butterbean. This link? Some thick spiration for you in the first pick? Wait, that's not. What the fuck? Bro, that's fake, right? That's not real, right? What the fuck? Bro, that's that's unimaginable levels of cheek, dude. Is he does he have like implants? What the fuck's he doing? Bro, bro, his ass is so fat it casts a shadow, dude. That's bananas. Like, <laughs> that should be illegal. That's like that. You do need a, a a commercial driving license for that. That that's like you can't be running around with that. That's like not allowed. The take you are talking about? Oh, foot fetish is messed up. Yeah, since so many of you can't keep your mouth shut, women are blurring out their feet in selfies, and now I can't have anything. Susu said that. Jubilee is planning something with you? Forty-four percent said Ben Shapiro. Really? That's crazy. It's a prosthetic. I can't click that link, man. It's that TikTok guy who always stuffs stuff who always stuff shit up his ass. I I can't click on that link. They, there's no way that's like There's no way that's safe, right? <laughs> you you presented that very weirdly. Okay, let's just continue that you would say you find yourself really akin to or that like really have influenced you uh kanye west did you just say kanye west welcome to the button a speed dating show when the button lights up red either player may press oh my god there is no fucking way dude what is happening booking a flight here immediately says grinder and immediately deletes the tweet Come town best of 2018. Oh no. Dude, the funniest thing, dude, I, I this is so fucking funny. Just like all it took was one fucking standum. One standum to interact with the center left Adam Friedland show. Why'd they delete? What do you mean, dude? Your fans are going to lose it when you go on Come Town. I will never go on Come Town, dude. What's Come Town? I don't even know what Come Town is. What, what do you mean? I, 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 what is Come Town? And swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. This is the button. What's your name? Alex. Alex. Like A L like A L E X. Yep. Elgin, nice to meet you. I like your shirt. That's tough. It's kind of wavy. Why are you wearing sunglasses inside? Honestly, I really don't like people in my eyes, but I'll take them off though. I got you. Thanks. I'll take them off. Got nice eyes. I appreciate it. <laughs> Fun fact about Alex. She ripped her butthole freshman year of college and waited three painful months before seeing two doctors to repair it. <laughs> I fully regret putting that in my application. <laughs> I missed it. I was reading chat. Yes. I appreciate it. <laughs> Fun fact about Alex. She ripped her butthole freshman year of college and waited three painful months before seeing two doctors <laughs> to repair it. I fully regret putting that in my application. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, we got to hear the story. Yeah, I mean, just freshman year, eating dining hall food, afraid to, like, use public bathrooms, just, mm. like, didn't go well. And... Something bad happened one day, and that was September, and I had to wait until I went to my doctor at home, so. Oh, my God. 
There was a lot of pain for a long time. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I love the vulnerability. I Thank appreciate you. that. I was Honestly, hoping that somebody would. <laughs> Elton let us know that he peed himself in sixth grade. Yeah, that did happen. I feel like that's not that bad. I didn't really have that much to share, so. Nothing embarrassing ever happens to you? Not particularly. I'm a pretty smooth individual if I'm not lying to you. Why did you reject Elgin? I feel like you have to have something more embarrassing. Mm. Copy I now. think that's projection. I the worst story. Nah, no, I, I mean, that was like embarrassing enough. Like if your expectation is someone ripped their asshole, like you're going to have a bad time. You're not going to find, you're not going to find someone who has like an equivalent story. Okay. That's. Story. That is fair. That's fair enough. Hello. I'm Alex. I'm Jamil. Jamil? Yeah, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I like your earrings a lot. Thank you. And these ones are a gift from a homeless man. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's I cute. lit a cigarette and he was like, I just want a light. And I was like, oh, got you. It's like, Bro, this is the most, again, insanely Seattle story. I, I got to give you something. So I was like, okay, let me see. That's for me. I'll take so you got to pick it? Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Do you two have an age? He took the earrings from, he took an earring from a homeless man. Like he chose, he's like, let me, let me see what I can take from you. He accepted a trade. Range when you're dating? I would say like, I don't stray too far out of my age range. I'm 25. Okay. I just like, I want to go through the phases of life with the person that yeah. I'm with. Ask Jamil how old he is. How old are you? Um, I'm 37. Okay. But um, it's one of those things where for me, <laughs> I have a very young spirit. I respect. I know I'm too old, so. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you, too. Yeah. Hello. How are you? I'm Haley. I'm Jamil. Jamil. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I like the tattoos. <sighs> Thank you so much. I just got them. Do yours mean something to you? The sun and moon that I have. Mm -hmm. My mom has a sun and moon. I don't know what it is. She gives off very scary energy. I don't know what it is. Like, just straight off. Or like... I don't know. The hair roots, maybe? Yeah. That is very conservative. That's like the marker of a conservative woman. I don't know. I don't know what about it. It's just like, it's, it's, it's scary a little bit. I'm tattoo. Okay. I love astronomy. Well, what sign are you? We're going to go straight to it. I'm like, <laughs> sorry. Why? Uh, and you can be honest, I can handle it. I would say I'm not sexually attracted to mm -hmm. you. Do you find Haley attractive? Sexually attractive, not really for me. Yeah. I mean, I think that you, we could have fun sexually as well. Oh, of course. But I have fun sex, so that's Same. just me. I feel like <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, Renard. Bernard, I'm Haley. Haley? I, it's also Renard. Renard, I'm yeah. so sorry. Uh, it's like the French word for fox. Oh, so. that is actually my Patronus. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you big into Harry Potter? I used to be, okay. yes. yes. Same. Um, I'm definitely excited for the Harry Potter video game, right? <gasps> no! No, don't do it! No! No, sir! Step away from the microphone! No! Oh no, dude, it's over. It's over, dude. Oh fuck. Guys, find him. He's a trans he's transphobic. Cross <laughs> crossover episode. Crossover episode. Time for the discourse. Let's just have another three hour conversation. Oh, is there? Yeah. Yo, she's so angry. Oh, she fucking hates you 100%. I don't know why she just like looks so mean. You or me. Definitely me. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank though. you, Bernard. Yeah. Have a great day. Thank Bernard, you. sorry. Renard. Why did you reject Bernard? Not my type. What is your type? Ooh, I really like a tall person. Hi. What's your name? Mo. Mo. And you? My name's Haley. Haley. Okay, they found a tall person. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Very beautiful. Oh my god, thank you. You're super fucking cute. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, they literally sent in the tallest person. That's crazy. She said, "I my type is tall." 
This this video is cut for incels, bro. Straight up. <laughs> they were like, oh, you want a tall person? Here's someone who's like 6'13", okay? <laughs> and she immediately was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of small talk. Uh, Me neither, actually. Oh my gosh, you just literally spoke volumes to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> what are the deal breakers? Ladies first. Oh, how do you know I identify as a lady? Uh, just kidding. Ah, just putting you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> deal breakers. Someone. This is the. I'm sorry. This is the absolute worst. Like, maybe she's a nice person, but. I'm not getting those vibes right now watching this. This is, oh my Lord. Oh, I'm dying. I'm, oh, oh, that's like. Yo, she looks like someone that you got linked to a tweet just to find out they already blocked you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah ay yeah 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 yeah. One who doesn't find drive or love or passion in life. I'm a very passionate person, Hot. so I like to do. <laughs> what are your deal breakers? breakers? Yeah. Definitely somebody that can't take a joke. Like, I love talking shit. <laughs> Honestly, same. Like, if you can't take a joke or if you can't take me poking at you or like giving you shit. We're probably not gonna buy. That's what I'm saying. Fun fact about Haley. She looks like someone who would make threads about you talking shit, and then it comes out her dad is some southern judge that keeps slavery legal or something. <laughs> yes. Yes. And then she has to come out with a twit longer apologizing for her dad being that way. <laughs> oh, no. That's such a good assessment. Holy shit. Okay. Also, the 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 whole like, oh, I'm someone who loves, <clears throat> I'm someone who loves to uh, poke fun, and I hate when people can't take a joke. Like, I don't know. I just I I'm on the edge of my seat here. I do feel like, I do feel like she's you know maybe not the type of person who she can be very mean, but like she doesn't take it back. That's what that's what she's giving off a little bit. Real Scorpio energy. They're poly. Mm. Yeah. I'm definitely a monogamous type of person. Yeah. I just, it felt bad. Yeah. The they don't like Bro, she hits that button with so much intent. Like, she doesn't just go for the button. She goes, rock! Like, like, she is so fast, bro. What the fuck? I feel like, I feel like Cut really heard me at, when I said, like, they should just sometimes keep one who's just like, whoosh! Push, 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 push. She's just hitting so fast. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta watch that. Like I, I fucking. Yeah. I just, Look at that. It felt bad. Look at that, bro. It felt bad. Yeah. This they don't like that idea. I know. I feel like we were <laughs> vibing. <laughs> She's so cold blooded, dude. She is so cold blooded. Yeah, tens reaction time is straight up. What? <laughs> it was gonna come out anyway. Come on. Hello. Hello, I'm Haley. Mark. Hello. I've heard you've been uh, buzzing a few people. You have some things to say about it? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is she so contentious? Oh, I'm so scared. Like I know this is exactly the type of person who like some of the ladies in the chat will be like, ha ha. You're just terrified of a girl boss energy. You know what I mean? And it's like not that at all. I just, I don't know. I just don't, I don't mesh with this. I, I understand it. I like picky, so. How old are you? 23. How old are you? I'm 30. 30? Mm -hmm. Okay. I've been with older. Do you typically date older? I, I don't know. I just like smart women. Okay. Good conversation. Like, what can you talk about? I don't know. That was a weird thing to say. Like, what? <laughs> implying young women can't be smart? <laughs> That's odd. I can sense that. I can sense the fear in his eyes, okay?
Let's run that back. Just like smart woman. Okay. Good conversation. Like, what can you talk about? I don't know. Philosophical conversations. Oh, no, bro. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay, they deserve one another. Straight up. He said philosophical conversations. Ay, ay, ay. Ugh. First of all, if that was a genuine take, that's a podcast take, okay? That just means you you watch a lot of podcasts of Jordan Peterson, okay? So that's number one. Number two, if that wasn't the case and you truly are a philosophy major, then it's somehow even fucking worse because philosophy majors can't shut the fuck up, dude. Oh, my God. Are there any type of philosophers that you would say you find yourself really akin to or that, like, really have influenced you? Kant. Uh, Kanye West, Steve Jobs. Oh my God. Okay. I was right the first time. I didn't have to go. I didn't have to go further than that. Oh, oh, I just, I was, I, I thought that maybe it's the second thing. Nope. It's the first thing. He's podcast guy. He said Kanye West and Steve Jobs. Yeah. My philosophy, my philosophy is capitalism. I love capitalism. I've listened to a lot of podcasts where they talk about capitalist shit. Kanye West, Steve Jobs, and my father. Did you just say Kanye West? <laughs> He creates culture. He creates conversation. He changes people's minds. But and he's anti-Semitic, like, and he's against. Well, but like, the, but the thing that. How is? Like, yeah, I know, I know, I I know, but. Bro, did this homie not think that this was gonna be like live? Bro, god damn! Imagine what the fuck, dudes are like. Dudes are too comfortable. Like, actually, he's like, yeah, no, I I just like a guy who's. Whose, you know, most recent accomplishment is openly stating that he loves Hitler, despite all the other dudes that also love Hitler telling him not to say that on camera. That's crazy. I mean, this is the only valid button hit from her so far. I do like it, though. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I just like that he opens up the conversations, you know? About love and Hitler. Like, that's sick. Pretty pretty cool. Yeah. Don't you want to have a conversation about that? <laughs> like, what? You say Kant and this motherfucker... Because I, I said Kant because I thought it was going to be fucking Mr. Philosophy Major. As far as... Oh. Kanye West, I'm sorry. As far as his comments on, like, the anti-Semitic stuff, like the I like Hitler... I don't, I don't really... Sorry to interrupt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this. Um, thank nice you, Mark. Nice to you, Haley. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. <sighs> Kanye West really shook me, y'all. That was really hard. Oh, my God. We're gonna take a break. From okay, everybody calm down. Like, Jesus Christ. Dude, okay, okay. Everyone needs to calm down. Like, just because some fucking Mark-ass white boy said he likes Kanye West doesn't mean we need to take a moment to ourselves and just like really reconsider the space that we're in. I'm sorry for the, for the fucking, you know, problematic nature of this content. We really got to reconsider. Like, that's insane, dude. What? Like, okay. God, liberals are so fucking unbearable. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh my God. Like, this is not the real, no one in the real world, okay? No one in a real plane of existence is like, wow, that really fucking shook me up. I need to take a moment to myself. It's not like he said some insane shit. Like, yeah, what he said is wild, okay? But not like, <sighs> I need a breather to myself. It's performative. It is so performative. He's acting like Kanye's in the room and said he loves Hitler in the room. Yeah. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Jesus. Fucking Christ, dude. Top of the hour ad breaks don't hit that hard. You know what I mean? What the fuck? They just come and go at the top of the hour for three minutes. And you're like, oh, fuck. I'm not ready for it. But then... You know, you subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. By right? connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. Where you get one, how capitalism destroys feminism. Okay, Elise, you've had too much in the chat, okay? Enough with your 
anti-capitalist uh, propaganda videos. Anyway. Oh, you can also get gifted a sub if you're lucky. Use the three minute break now. Hello. <laughs> God. We're gonna take a break from the men. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, this is funny. Why is this funny? We were just playing truth or drink in the dressing room, and Chris just um, had a question of who would you be most sexually compatible with out of this group, and lo and behold, it was me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I didn't. You're training to, uh... To become a certified sex coach. That's yeah. so cool. I think there's a lot of healing with sex. Mm -hmm. And there's so much shame behind all of it. Aww. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Can I hug you? Oh, Is that okay? No, yeah. Like, you're generally an amazing person. Oh, thank you. Why did you reject Chris? I am not particularly sexually interested in them. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> so, what are you into? I'm into people. I feel like, oh my God. What a relief. She isn't into cats, am I right? Yeah, actually, that, that's a redeeming quality. Definitely a turf? No, I don't even... I, the button called them them. I think they're an MB, maybe? I don't even know. <sighs> I can't tell. Uh... This web, this person is a new bio weapon developed by the Umbrella Corporation. This person is like this person was manifested by this person was manifested in a laboratory to specifically create more incels. The title says woman no shot they misgendered her. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's true. How does one get a sex coach? Please, asking for a friend. I don't think that sex coaches like, fuck you, chatter. Like, I don't think that's how that works. Like, I think they just, like, teach you how to fuck, maybe? I don't fucking know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Damn. Chatter is down abysmal. Cataclysmic. Absurd. <laughs> It doesn't matter. <laughs> She's the least people person ever. Holy shit. I mean, yeah, I think that's why they. I think that's why they, you know, this is content like they make. I mean, she is like a villain. She is Hassan's final boss on Twitter. No, she's like, she's definitely pro sex work. She has to be. I think she's giving like, I'm very woke on the exterior, but like internally I'm not vibes. String speak. Thank you for the five gifted subs. I'm into their energy. What about for you? Yeah, for me, I don't know. I've mostly dated men, but I find women immensely attractive. I, I'm actually more attracted to women than I am men. Same. They, they understand you more. 100%. It's actually really nice you. IRL. And you do not have the answers if you don't feel comfortable. How many sexual experiences have you had with women? 
probably, I wouldn't say like six. Wow. Do you two find each other attractive? I think you're stunning. <laughs> I think you're absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. You're welcome. Lying. Oh. You both said you found each other attractive, but you were both ready to hit the button. I feel like I would have more fun with you as a friend. Like, like let's same. go out, same. Like, let's vibe. Same. Just because I'm attracted to you doesn't mean I want to fuck you. Yeah. Am mm -hmm. I going to get this person's information? Absolutely. Absolutely. Are we Probably. gonna fuck? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Maybe. You know what? Never say never. Like Enough said, tequila? Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, Haley. <laughs> yeah. Is we you following women, women. I don't know that we have someone for you. I find that controversial. How do you know? Because I've already gone through everybody. Well, thank you for a lovely time. I had so much fun. Oh, I had a lovely time with you. <laughs> thank you very much. Anything. I'm Polly, Haley. I'm Polly.